Chris Reese. Welcome to Tech Talk Tuesdays. We're here at Atlanta Soundworks and we're going to be talking about some tips, tricks, and hacks on proper microphone technique, specifically handling and holding of the microphone. Got to give cred to DPA for a great social post that they did on the response pattern based upon how you hold the microphone. So I'm here with Galen Boyce, uh, president and founder of Atlanta Sound Works. Galen, what are you working on? All right, so I want to get into the mechanical part of it, and you'll see some of the handling noise and, as well as I go through some of these microphones. And what I have here is basically random microphones, some of it out of a rental, some of them are brand new pieces out of the box. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to grab some different microphones, and so you can also tell that the microphones themselves do make a difference in this as well. So here we go. The, uh, the first thing to be aware of is you got a, a great drum kit there. I, I'm going to patent this and, and we're going we're gonna to sell the, sell the, the kit. Or actually, you know, most churches have enough microphones around. They can build their own kit like this very, very simply. That's right. It's but the, e the, the, easy electronic drum The kit. point of it is we're, we're looking at mechanical coupling. And we're getting, you know, you kick a mic stand, you step on it, whatever, you bang it around, you get noise. And, you know, obviously you don't want noise. Now, one of the things that I sort of need to point out is... It's a sound man's responsibility to mute these mics that aren't being used. So in real situations, I'm hoping that you are muting the mic so all this goes away. But there are times it doesn't happen. Uh, and I just want to show exactly what it's doing. So this one is a fairly economical microphone. I won't tell you the brand, but it's cheap. Um, <laughs> Um, so anyway, the, the first concept is the mechanical coupling from the, from the uh, mic cable to the mic, and I think this is the worst one that we have. All right, what we're listening to is, is just the vibrations that, that I'm, when I hit the cord, it goes up through and then into the element on the microphone. And it's just, you know, noise, unwanted noise, something that you don't want to hear. You don't want anybody in, in your listening audience to hear this. Now, one thing that does help if you turn your microphone up and you make this bend in the wire, the mechanical coupling goes way down because that energy that's going straight up is actually going up into the microphone element. When you bend it, that energy doesn't make that, that bend. So you just, it basically goes out into nowhere. And it, but it's not all gone, it's still there. All right. So you, you understand that's that lovely, that's there? Lovely sound and that you're making with your hand there. Well, this is because you need some there's, motion. There's, there's no good isolation, mechanical isolation in this microphone. It just, an element hanging in there somehow. So, so all the noise from, from the shell and cable and so forth is transmitted into that into that diaphragm. If I just run through several of these different microphones, uh, I don't even want to bother saying the names of them and so forth, but the, the point of it is this one is much less than the first one, but it's still there. You still have a good amount of handling noise when you when you play with it in your hand. This one is interesting. Much less, almost gone away. The handling noise is very, very, very slight. Now I'm back to the Sure SM86 again that we used before. Still some noise there. Reduction of noise. Handling noise is a little bit, but it's not horrible. Mm -hmm. Another brand. To me, I'm hearing.
hearing just a little bit more mechanical noise there. Mm -hmm. Handling noise is slightly more than, than the last one we listened to, but much less than that. I also have a kind of a hodgepodge of mic clips up here, and I forget which one I'm dealing with. So anyway. <laughs> um, just so we know, to clarify, now I've got to some really good microphones. Uh, this one is a Sennheiser E965, which is actually one of my favorite mics to use for a lead vocalist. A little noise there, it's higher frequency. Bend the microphone over. Mostly gone. Handling noise. Uh, good microphone, too. Ooh. And this is a Shure KSM-9, uh, the champagne color. There comes in two different varieties. Sorry for the commercial. Um, anyway, noise. Still some there. Virtually gone. Mm -hmm. Handling noise, there is some there, but you go back to the fingertip technique. And, the, it's, and it's, the, the pinky flare is optional? That, that is optional. There, okay. there's, there's actually several different hold, holds you can do. You know, the pinky is, 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 is good, for, you know, proper adequate and so forth. Okay. Um, usually two fingers is, is, is the best um, just because it feels good, gives you a nice balance. You can do three fingers. You can do, do four. Um, anyway, the... The main point of it is, is you're you're reducing your points of contact to, to your to your fingertips and so forth mm -hmm. instead of gripping it in, in your palm and your palm squeaks and squawks as you move it around and your and your fingertips really. Uh, I'll do this one. Anyway, that's that's a tip for you on that. Then there's another tip that goes along with it when we're talking about the the handling noise of the cord. And I don't know if I mentioned it before, but if you take your hand that you don't know what to do with anyway when you're standing on the stage and you hold your cord and you you make a loop in it that greatly reduces any any handling noise Chris tap on that cord no go ahead tap on it okay okay so that is just a mechanical isolation technique plus you know hey I've got something in my hand I don't Look stupid up here. Anyway, all right, we're gonna let Galen go back to playing over there with the with the D Live. But if you want more information about this topic or want to talk to us about anything else, reach out to us through our website aswav.com. You can email us at gurus at aswav.com or give us a shout 770-716-7400. Until next time, this is Tech Talk with ASW.